Today I'm going to show you how to install this awesome Comfort Seal interior storm window by Larson. Uh, but before I get into that, hit the subscribe button. I'm going to post a separate video sharing with you my impressions of the performance and uh, you know whether it's helping with sound and temperature and all of that. So hit that subscribe button and let's take a look at the install. All right, so almost four months ago, I placed the order for these uh, Larson Comfort Seal interior uh, windows. And uh, yeah, four months later, here they are. This is pretty much how they came wrapped, um, cardboard protecting them on all sides, uh, the window um, in this sort of open position, tied shut, and they're just some plastic straps. Um, but other than that, there was no extra uh, protection. So let's get this properly unwrapped and uh, see what needs to be done. So having unwrapped everything, um, this pack of hardware was included and instructions seems pretty simple. Um, really the key to it all is this uh, top uh, piece, um, uh, which goes along the whole length of the window at the top. But let me detach it because it's in two parts. So I've removed the front cover from the top piece, which is uh, made of aluminium. And so that's gonna screw in, there's three screw holes. That screws into the top of the window frame. And then basically the whole window hangs off the top here. It'll make more sense once I put it up. By the way, the depth of uh, the window insert is exactly one inch. So it doesn't need a whole lot of room, um, but you should position it at least one quarter of an inch from the window that you're gonna cover it. So this piece of aluminium channel goes at the top on the inside of the frame. Uh, you need to leave at least a quarter inch behind it. Um, so you just mark up appropriately and uh, eyeball it, make sure it looks right. And then, yeah, you just use the three supplied screws, drill in a one eighth inch hole, mount this. Let's do that. So I've drilled one hole so far. Um, there's actually, this is a five feet long window. Um, there's four holes, in fact, in the channel. And I decided to drill the middle one first, or one of the two in the middle first, and uh, mount uh, the channel just being held up right now with one screw, uh, just to make it easier uh, to position it. The window isn't perfectly uh, square. There's slightly more uh, depth on the right-hand side than there is on the left-hand side. All right, so the channel is screwed in at the top, and then the window, which is currently, the new window is currently hanging off the support. And uh, to get it in and out, you sort of pull it forward like this, okay? So I'm gonna slide that all the way in. You see, makes a tight seal. If you've, <laughs> if you've measured the right size and everything, then it should make a tight seal. Um, there's just one final step, which is to put in uh, little corner pieces uh, here and here that hold the window at the right spot. So I'm just gonna measure for those. Fit the window in, uh, adjust it all round so it sits nicely with the same amount of reveal all round. And then at the bottom here, just put a little line at the front where the window, uh, the front of the window sits along here. On the other side, do the same. Uh, and just before we take the window back out again, let's see. So this is my existing window. This is the new window uh, here. And there's almost an inch gap. Um, ideally, you know, this window frame is, is not very deep. Um, if you had a deeper window frame, even better if you have a bigger gap. That's about an inch. But if you can have a bigger gap between them, the better. Uh, and the more amount of air in between is better for insulation and also sound uh, isolation. So these little corner pieces that just hold the window in place, you put these little weather strips in uh, here first before you install them. Okay, that's a little weather strip installed. And then you measure uh, back, uh, I think half an inch on the window and then screw these in. So let's uh, take a look at that. Okay, so once these two corner pieces are attached, it looks like this. I uh, remember that was the front line of the window. Uh, that was a quarter inch and then the line, which you can't see because it's covered, it was half an inch back and there's still uh, a finger size gap or so behind. And that's it, we just need to put the window up again. Okay, so the corner stops are fitted. The window just pushes in against that. So it's a sort of backstop. The window is hooked in at the top. You might be able to see. There's one. And now all we need to do is install the uh, front cover for the channel. So the front cover for the channel um, just clips on and, uh, you know, makes a nice, uh, fills the gap uh, at the top. With the cover for the channel installed, that actually completes the installation. That might be a little hard to get it in, uh, you can see there's a slight gap just here. So just bang it with your hands or a hammer just to get it all the way in. That way you get a nice tight seal. Well, that's it. The window insulation is complete. And uh, as you can see, there is a seal uh, all the way around. Um, there is a slight gap in a couple of spots, which uh, I think is unfortunately, well, it's nothing to do with the window. It's everything to do with the existing frame. Uh, but for the most part, it's completely sealed. It shouldn't be too difficult to um, fill in those small uh, gaps. So yeah, that's it. You can see the window, the opening piece is here. 
And so check out my next video. I'm going to review performance. What's it, has it helped with, um, you know, the heat in the room and uh, drafts and, and sound uh, prevention as well. So check out that other video coming soon.